All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And uh, here we sit in the year 2015, and uh, all the wrestling fans today are all connected in on uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, <clears throat> Instagram. I mean, we're all connected. You know, when the story breaks, we, we got it right in front of us. But a <clears throat> little wrestling history lesson with uh, Professor Gemini. America Online, mid-90s, about 94, 95, launched the WWF, you know, website on America Online. And it was slow as hell, and it would load slow, and to download a picture was like two hours of your favorite wrestler. I mean, it was ridiculous. Like, for instance, I can remember watching um, Survivor Series 95, the match between Brett and Diesel on America Online, and just to see the clip where Kevin Nash power bombs, you know, uh, Bret Hart at the end of the match after Bret wins the title on the roll-up. Just to download that clip, it was like three, four hours to download it. But <clears throat> the origins of pro wrestling on the internet actually begin way before that. In early 92, 93, uh, before everything got high speed and high tech, there was a website, CompuServe. CompuServe, wa CompuServe was a chat service that you could get your wrestling information from. And this is kind of what started it, it kind of revolutionized it. Uh, and WCW was all over this uh, back in the day and so what you used to do is you would click on CompuServe and I was 12 and 13 years old back in 93 I think CompuServe started up and uh, you could actually this was the first way that you could connect with other wrestling fans on the internet and the way you would do CompuServe is they didn't really have WWF chat rooms per se like America Online did in the mid 90s they didn't really have that but me being hardcore, even at 12 and 13, in a pro wrestling, what you used to do is you used to click sports, and you used to you used to scour the chat rooms because they would have basketball, football, baseball, hockey, hockey not so much. But you would go in these chat rooms, and you'd see all these people chatting about you know whatever basketball or baseball, you know 92, 93, you know the Braves were a big deal and. You know, in basketball, the Bulls were a big deal. So these chat rooms were hot and heavy with Bulls fans and Braves fans and Blue Jays fans because those were the teams in the early 90s. So what you would do is you go in these chat rooms and you, know, you would just type the simple word, uh, does anyone like WWF? And if if someone did say, yeah, man, I love it. I watched a, I watched a Hulk Hogan last night. Ah, then you were able to connect with this person uh, right then and there. Um, and you were able to um, talk about wrestling all night with them on the internet, you know, chat back and forth on CompuServe. Because back then, finding a wrestling fan on the internet was not like it is today. Today, simple. You could, you could click on Facebook, you build a wrestling audience, and you, I, I could put up a post right now and be talking to 20 people about wrestling all night. But back in the day, early 90s, before all this stuff got sophisticated, finding a wrestling fan on the internet not an easy task not that many people in my town like wrestling so you know I was in search for anyone else um, on the internet who loved pro wrestling so you put a feeder out there you put a feeler out there and then you would find somebody on CompuServe and it was it was like magic and this was years before uh, YouTube came around like 92 93 so like 13 14 years before YouTube was even around it's so easy to connect with other wrestling fans now, but CompuServe, the origin of, of finding wrestling fans. And back then, you know, it's just as hardcore as I am now. So I would search out these wrestling fans just to chat with them, just to talk about Hulk Hogan, The Undertaker, Sergeant Slaughter, The Iron Sheik, the WCW guys. Yeah, go back and watch some of the old WCW tapes from the early 90s and you'll see the CompuServe uh, plugs. That's that's where this shit got started. Awesome. Awesome. The origins of the wrestling fan on the internet by Professor Gemini. Thanks for watching. Gemini, have a good one.